frustrated a lot. Frustrated a lot of different things. I guess I guess is the big, biggest thing you can say. Um, you know, frustrated with our inconsistency. Um, you know, we, I thought we showed some really good moments tonight. Then it, then we would come right back. You know, we worked so hard to get back in the game, and then boom, they would score two goals right back at us. We, you know, it's been hit or miss. Unfortunately, like we were really good the first period against Toronto. Um, then we got away from things the second and third. We we were good in spurts this morning, um, but just not good enough. Like we've been talking about this for us. We we have to play 60 minutes. We can't take shifts off, um, and that's what happened. We would go really well. Um, you know, we had we we're putting some shifts together. We we're gaining momentum. Then we get a shift or two off, and then they capitalize, and boom! Instead of being three-three, it's five-three, and we're working to play catch-up again. And uh, you expend a lot of energy playing catch-up, and uh, you know we we, we got to we do a better job playing with the lead typically. Yeah, it, w it was a great start, uh, but at, at the same time, I mean, it it went with, same thing. We went one-one. They score. We we score to make it one-one. Yeah. They score to make it two-one. Then we're five on three. And it makes it 3-1. It's different coming out of that period, 2-1 and 3-1. Yeah, I mean, with the, with the school day game, it's a great environment. Um, you know, they, they do a great job turning it into an educational experience for these kids. It's not just coming in and watching a hockey game. But any time, I think it can help the kids from a learning standpoint when they can take things that happen in everyday life and show how the things they're learning in school get incorporated into everyday life. And, uh, you know, I think that goes a long way towards their education. And, uh, you know, hopefully maybe, you know, finding careers in sports somewhere along the line. Uh, I don't think that really had anything to do with it. We had a, we had a number of guys that have done this before. Um, it's a great environment, you know. It, instead of playing in, in front of a smaller crowd on a Tuesday night, why, why do it in front of a larger, loud crowd on Tuesday morning? I mean, I don't mind these games. I, I actually like them. Guy, you were in for practice anyways, so we're in working anyways. So why don't we play a game? Uh, it was great, you know. You you lo you love you love that enthusiasm, and you know I was hoping the guys were going to kind of feed off that when it got to three three, and they were kind of everyone was kind of getting ramped up there in the second period, and unfortunately we let that momentum slip away. Yeah, yeah. The, the, we scoring the shorthanded goals is nice. Um, it's just it, that's just uh, uh, extra icing on the cake, I guess. It's yeah. not what we really shoot for. It's for no, um, you know, I think we, we would we would take the, those two shorties back if we could have taken their three power play goals back. Uh, and they made a couple nice plays. We were a little slow uh, to jump in a couple situations, and they made a couple nice tic-tac-toe plays. I mean, the five on three was a bomb of a shot. Basically went crossbar and in. Um, you know, the five on three, especially for that length of time, are tough to kill, especially when you know, two of your best, two or three of, I think three, three of our best penalty killers were in the box at that time. Yeah, Drew's a talented kid. I mean, he's a second round pick um, that I think made the right decision by turning pro this year. Um, you can see he's talented in a lot of different assets. He's one of the guys that we rely on power play, penalty kill, especially, you know, five on five. Um, you know, I think coming in last year did him um, some definitely benefits coming in, playing some playoff games. And, uh, you know, he's been a guy, for the most part, pretty consistent. He makes rookie mistakes, uh, but you can live with those mistakes.